Chicago alone is, is truly amazing. Um, uh, you know, like I said before, hopefully we can we can sign some of this young talent in Chicago and um, back the young talent and take them to that next level. You going for the knockout point? Uh, well, I'm always looking for the victory, but of course, do I think the knockout can happen? Absolutely. Fight Town, Fly Island. Is coming out with you? Are there going to be rappers coming out with you at this match? Uh, we don't know. But most 
most likely it will be the best guy, which is the way. Floyd, you're always saying that you are the one, the fighter, uh, the best of your generation. Who do you recognize present or, or in, in the past as a fighter on new level, now or in the well, times back? Well, you know, it's the critics. The critics put these guys on certain levels. And then, um, when, I think when certain fighters come up short, uh, then the same guys that put them on a high level, then get to talking bad about the guys. So, you know, things happen, you live and you learn. But you but you own list the guys you will consider uh, equal to you, now or in the past? Uh, I don't know. You I must know. know. I don't know. Why do you consider yourself the greatest boxer of all time? I'm just, I'm, I'm a very excited fighter in North Carolina. Well, I think get the job done. Holy Malinaji wants a rematch versus Broner. Would you like to see that? Uh, uh, Marginali and Broner, that's not my business. You don't want to see another rematch? Marginali and Broner, that's not my business. What do you want next for Broner? Anything? I'm, I'm proud that Broner got the victory, and um, I wish him nothing but the best. What about EJ Smith versus Molina? Who do you got in that fight? Obviously, your guy. Um, <laughs> what's up? compare to, to when you fought De La Hoya and, and you went on the 2007 the City Tour? I think that, you know, um, my fan base has grown. My fan base has grown. And um, I think it was a, a brilliant game plan to keep putting Canelo on my undercard so he can, he can build him a fan base and then ultimately face myself and we come together and get a fans an exciting fight. When you hear the reception that Canelo gets from all the fans, do you feel like you're partially responsible for that because he, he did fight on a lot of your undercards? I mean, of course, you know, Canelo fought on a lot of my undercards. Uh, a lot of my undercards. He was able to uh, build his name. He always fought in the pre-main event and uh, he hasn't had a chance to go on pay-per-view by, him, by himself yet. So, once again, um, he's the B side, I'm the A side, but he's a young, strong champion, uh, you know, a guy that I can't overlook. And uh, September, I go out there and do what I do best. Did you ever contemplate of fighting overseas, like a big arenas in England, big arenas in Germany? Uh, MGM. You are a global fighter. The MGM is what I love. And, um, I said before, uh, Showtime, CBS, I'm happy. We have a great relationship, not a good relationship, but a great relationship. And uh, Showtime is very, very positive, which is a great thing. What if he wins in September 15th? I mean, because he was a young, strong guy um, that's on the rise. You know, to, to take, to, to, of course, hopefully someday be at the pinnacle in the sport. And um, of course, he wants to steal, steal my, all my fans and, and then right off into the sunset. Do you look at it like beating his experience? Well, I feel that he's banking on you. But me, myself, I have a lot of experience. And, and I know what it takes uh, when it's a fight of this level. This is where I'm from, you know. Uh, that's where I was born at. I'm an American citizen, and uh, I love my country. And how important to you was to visit Grand Rapids? Um, Grand Rapids, of course. Um, that's my hometown. They came out, they showed a lot of love, a lot of support. So anytime I can give back and let the fans get a chance to see me, and some old friends see me, shake my hand and hug me, take pictures and sign autographs, it's always a great day. Here in Chicago, the Blackhawks won the Stanley Cup. You a hockey fan at all? I heard. Um, you, um, the Blackhawks. I was just doing ESPN radio, and they told me that the Blackhawks had just won the Stanley Cup.